Okay, folks, what we're going to talk about today is a Goodman yes, uh, communicating system. Okay, this is your ComfortNet thermostat. Pretty basic. I want to talk to you about the battery. The battery has a little battery cell. You got your positive and you got your negative. If you look on your battery, you have your positive side. Okay, so we're just going to take the battery and snap it in. That's all there is to put in the battery. I went ahead and took the liberty of mounting the back plate, okay? And one thing I want to show you here, it has four connections. One, two, three, four. And the connections are, you can't really see them on this particular unit, but I'm going to show you. You have common, which is, I'm going to use for my blue, red, which is my red wire, and then you have terminal one and two. I use my white wire on one and yellow on two. And here's what I always do. Here's the typical wiring diagram. We are now standing at the thermostat. So I'm just going to put a TS to show you how simple I try to make this. Thermostat, indoor board, which is my air handler. And this is my outdoor condenser. So I'm going to put CU. Okay. Now here at my thermostat, that's what I was telling you. So I'm going to designate wire number one as white. Wire number two is yellow. Number three, which is my red. And this is my common, which is blue. So I'm going to color over it. When I go to my air handler, number one is going to be my white. Number two is my yellow. Three is my red. And four is my blue, which is common again. Now I'm going to go to my condenser, and I'm, you, this is the tricky part. I want you to pay attention. And it says it right here. Right here, wire outdoor unit. Connect wires one and two from, out, from indoor unit to one and two to the outdoor unit. Install the transformer provided and connect R and C at the outdoor unit. Do not connect R and C between the indoor and outdoor unit. All right, so I want to point this out to you. So outside, we're going to use the white wire. We're going to use the yellow wire, and we're stopping. We are not going to hook up the red and blue outside because what we're going to do, we're going to set a transformer, and I'm going to show you all this on this video. Then we're going to jump out, and we're going to hook our L1, L2, and then our R and C on our terminal block. That's all there is to it. So let's review this. Step one, thermostat. You got one, two, R, and C. White on one, yellow on two, red on red, and blue on common. All right, now let's go to the air handler. Okay, now we're at the air handler, guys. So what I'm going to talk to you about, we're going to talk about the air handler wiring. You notice this terminal block here. This has to be taken out, and we're going to replace it with this little four-wire terminal block. Okay? So I'm going to show you how we got to do this to get this correct. So I'm going to pull this terminal block out. I'm just going to reach in. This just plugs in. That's one good thing about the, the Goodman units. They do have that under control with, with the terminal block. So, as you notice, we've got our, our red wire, which we have our flow switches. We have our common. We have green, Y1, Y2, W1, W2. We're just going to unhook everything. Give me one second. This is a very simple process, guys. After you do the first one, you're going to think, oh, this is so easy. And then we'll do another video on how to actually program the thermostat itself, okay? And I have one already. Just if you need it, you can go to it. But the other one will be much better. Okay. Now it's a process of elimination. I know right now that going to my outdoor unit, let's do it this way. This is my hot wire, okay? Because you can see my flow switch is attached. Here's my SS3, and here's my SS2, okay? 
Here's my common wire. I already know I'm going to use my common wire because I've got to have that on my C terminal. Okay? Now, here's my green wire and my red wire. So here's what I'm going to do. According to my directions, the only thing I really need to hook up is my white wire and my yellow wire. Okay? So I'm going to turn my green back. I'm going to take my two white wires. We'll put them together. Take my two yellow wires, put them together. Okay, now the red wire that's going to the outside, which is going to be my red hot and my red common, I'm going to set them on a separate transfer. So all I'm going to do right now, I'm going to hook up my white and yellow, my red and my common. Okay, so what I've done is I've twisted my white together, twisted my yellow together, and I've got a nice little end. That way I know they don't back out from each other. So I put my number two uh, wire, which is yellow, into screw hole number two. And tighten it down. <laughs> then I'm going to go in my number one, which is the white wire. Once again, I'm going to tighten it down. It's a great thing about these Goodman plugs like this. They really are easy for the installer instead of having to get all up inside this air handler. I always like to go through and just double check all my connections. Make sure they're tight. Now, here's how easy this is. We're done. And you know what? I wanted to, oh, one thing I want to point out, if you notice, we do have a red wire right now going to the outside of the condenser because we've used red and blue to go outside. So I'm going to disconnect the red wire that goes to the outside condenser so we're not sending power out there. And that would have been red wire coming from here. See my green wire? That was my thermostat wire. That's very important that you don't send 24 volts out there that you don't need. Okay. So here's my thermostat wire going, uh, my red wire going to the outside right here. Because this is my green wire that's going to my thermostat, which is the one I needed. So I'm going to take my red wire here. I'm going to tie it back to this red wire here. Because the only thing we want outside right now is going to be a white and a yellow wire. So we're going to roll all this back. And folks, you know what? It's a good thing I double checked myself because I actually hooked up the wrong wire going to the unit here. So basically, the only thing that we're hooking up going to the outside, and I apologize to this guy, so when you blog me and ask me questions, I know I kind of messed it up, but I caught it. The blue wire from the thermostat is the one that goes here, so I'm going to roll this back. This is a real live hookup here. I don't practice most of my videos, as you guys mostly know by now. I'm real world. So once again, blue wire from the thermostat, the white wire from the thermostat, the yellow wire from the thermostat, and the red wire from the thermostat, which is tied via 
flow switch. So I got my four wires hooked up. Now I'm just going to plug it in. Here's the great thing about this unit. See these first four terminals right here? Right there. I'm going to take it and plug it in. Now what I always like to do is make sure there's no pressure on my board. So I always like to take mine and turn it down. Because these boards, they can crack. You never know. Alright, now that's it on the air handle. Now we're going to go to the condenser. Okay, now we're at the condenser unit. Now we've hooked up the we're gonna what we're gonna actually do, we're gonna hook up the red and common from the transformer I have in my hand here, okay? We're gonna hook up power from the line one and line two side. And the only thing I'm gonna hook up on my terminal block coming from upstairs would be my white and yellow. So we're gonna have one and two. One and two, white and yellow, and my red and common are going to come off my transformer right here. So let's look at the transformer here. This is provided with the Goodman communicating system. Now I want to show you right here. Let's look at this. Primary one, common, two, 208 volts or 3240. I've already taken the liberty to hook these up, but see how it's already marked? One is common. I have 240, so I hooked it up on three. If you're in a condo or a, maybe some kind of a commercial building, you possibly would have 208. So we're hooking up on one and three. This is our 24 volts. Let's look at this. Secondary, four and five, 24 volts common. This is a 40 VA transformer. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my low voltage cables and it doesn't matter which side you hook them up to, but I'm going to hook up one on four, one on five. Okay, now I've already taken the liberty of pre-drilling my holes, but I'm just going to put one in for the sake of the shortness of the video. Also, what I've already done is I've actually already fished my high voltage wires down to my L1 and L2 side, okay? To save time on the video once again. But you guys are smart enough to know this. If you're doing this, you already know what you're doing. So here's my 240 volts. I fished it down behind between my circuit board and my block here. And here it comes down here. My red wire... I've got it. I actually had to cut it off and I stuck it under the L2 terminal here, okay? And I've got my black wire, it's on the little tab right here. It actually had a little tab, so I just stuck it on right here. So that way I know I got one power on L1, one power on L2, so I know that part is correct. Now I'm going to take my terminal block here and I'm going to pull this loose. Once again, it's the same thing we have in the indoor air handler. I'm going to pull it loose. I'm going to take my screwdriver. I already know I do not need the red and common from the air handler. So I'm just going to pull it loose. Roll it back. I'm going to save it. You never know down the road you might need any of these wires. Then I'm going to take my Y1 and Y2 off this because now these are my data cables. I'm going to hook up, my one is white, my two is yellow once again, because we designated that from the minute we started putting on the thermostat. Okay, now I'm going to take my red wire, put it under my red. I always like to do the tug test, guys. When I put a, a, a stranded wire into a screw, I always like to do the tug test, especially if you got a solid wire like we did down, down here on the uh, 240 volt. Then we'll take the red wire, excuse me, blue wire, and do the same thing.
Tighten it all up good. Make sure everything's snug. Now once you look on the board, once again, you're gonna see one, two, R, and C. I'm gonna take it and we'll plug it in right there. I'll probably come back for this after the video and do this right here just because it's a little sloppy, but I don't like to do that. I want my work neat and clean. All right, now, folks, what we've done here, we went through how to hook up the data cables on a Goodman a Mana 18 sear two stage compressor system. It's pretty simple. You follow these directions and you'll hook it up and it'll work fine. So now what we're going to do, we're going to energize the air handler and turn this on and we're going to go program the thermostat. If you have any questions on the Amana communicating system, give us a call at Jones Air Conditioning, 239-596-5855. Go to jonesairconditioning.com and if you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment.